2015, we served our 10 millionth meal. That was such a great accomplishment. And it only can happen through the generosity of our volunteers who help us deliver these meals every day. And of course, the donations that help us with clients who can't afford the meal. We have never turned any senior away who needs a hot, fresh meal. We made a total of 820 meals today. Uh, most of them did go out into the community. Some went to our lunch club, some went to our congregated dining sites in our adult day center. And I know that the clients have choices, so if they don't eat the meal today, which was what was it today? It was vegetarian lasagna today. Okay, and so what happens if they don't uh, like vegetarian lasagna? Actually, they have a couple options. We have choice meals. If they call and let us know that they don't like lasagna, we have a substitute meal we can get out to them. So my father-in-law, back in December, needed to have meals delivered to his home. And so Meals on Wheels came out with a case manager because he needed help with funding um, to get the meals. And throughout that whole process, he was provided uh, several meals and some additional services. One day he couldn't answer the door. And he was, they were able to call an ambulance and provide assistance to get him the health care that was needed. And it very well may have saved his life that day. We work with over 100 agencies and pantries throughout Manatee County, who in turn serve the food on their giveaway days to clients. They come to the food bank where we store and house in our coolers and our storage areas, food that we pick up from the retail store pickup program in Manatee County and through donations. That food is sorted and then picked up by the pantries and agencies to get out to the community. Ten years ago, the Food Bank of Manatee did around 400,000 pounds of food. Uh, our business has totally increased. We're up to 4.6 million pounds. Uh, that's good in one way and bad in another. It shows the need has gotten greater. That's, we're not happy about that, but we're also happy what we can do. We also offer emergency food in crisis situation. So there are families that um, may have to leave in the middle of the night and they go to one of our agencies and they have no food. We also provide weekly bags of diapers, formula, wipes, blankets, etc. for babies every week up to age two. Daybreak Adult Day Center is the only licensed daycare center here in Manatee County. We are licensed for 100 clients who can come and enjoy activities, nutrition, and social networking with friends, making new friends here at Daybreak. And I think it's up to us to, you know, sort of tell everybody, you know, what a wonderful place it is, and it is a good place mm -hmm. to come to. I look forward to seeing certain people every day just because I know them. I know them a little better than I knew them yesterday. My first impression when I walked in um, was very good. Uh, there was someone playing the piano and people were actively engaged and listening. And then when I left, they were up and dancing. And uh, so I planned our first day for John to attend uh, on October 29th, knowing that the preschool kids would be there in their Halloween costumes. My husband loves children. He had really enjoyed the activities and um, he asked me if he could go every single day, not just one or two days a week. And that just meant so much to me. I really like it. I really enjoy coming here, so. And like I said, we have the best staff in the world. <laughs> I can have somewhat of a normal life, all thanks to Daybreak. And I'm so pleased that John enjoys it so much. It, it's wonderful. We know that there are so many more seniors that are coming into Florida, not just to enjoy our beautiful area, but they're retiring here to Florida. And we have the boom coming. We know that there's gonna be so many more 
um, people who are going to enter the space who are going to need more of our services. So it's critical that the community is aware of what Meals on Meals Plus offers. Mm -hmm.